What's up everybody, it's Michael, I'm back again. Beautiful morning out here in Southern California. This video, we're gonna go to the field a little bit, we're gonna do some ladder work. Dalton's gonna get in there, show you a couple of his favorite drills on the ladder that he does to help him get faster, help him get quicker as a running back, really at any position. So we're gonna go record that. And then at the end of it, Cody and Dalton will answer some of your guys' questions that you guys asked them in the last video. So stick around for that. I'll give my shout outs and answer a question at the end too. So enjoy, hope you guys learn a lot, hope this helps. Mondays, man, they get everybody. Cody over here. The struggle bus. <laughs> get everybody. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm out here on the field training this morning with Dalton and Cody. You can get some work in, some foot ladder stuff. Dalton will show you a couple drills you can do to get your feet faster, to work on explosion and all that, so follow along. All right, here are a few ladder drills. First one we'll do is just called forward crossover. You go in with your outside foot, and then you get both feet out. So slowly it'll go. Alright, the next one, you're gonna go front stab, back stab, as you're picking your feet up the whole time. Speed on this one. So the first shout out I wanted to give said, and I get a shout out, and that is to Chase with the sauce. I see you, bro. There's your shout out. I appreciate the support. And then the second shout out I want to give is to Lil Shorty, who says he loves my vids. And I really do appreciate all the support and all the love. And I hope this is really helping you guys. I'm trying to share with you stuff that I've learned so I can try to help the next generation coming up. For the question, Fire Music 2017 asked if I could give my best speed training drills. I thought this fits perfectly into this video because these ladder drills are what we do day in and day out, every day to get our feet faster, to get faster in general, and to just work on explosion and quickness. If you really do do these and master these drills that we're showing you guys, you will see an improvement in your speed. Keep working hard and keep staying on top of it, and hopefully these will help you a lot. That's why everybody does it, because it is relevant and it does help. What's up, guys? It's Cody Keith. Just here to answer a few questions from y'all's comments. Omar Abdulaziz says, how do I get my spiral to be consistent? So a lot of guys overgrip the football, which means they grip and they grip it really, really really tight which makes the ball come out a little goofy that come out as a clean spiral one of the tricks you can do hold the ball a little lighter if you can see I have a little pocket here where my hand is not touching the ball and then you want to put pressure off your pointer finger the ball comes down a lot of coaches will say across and put your right if you're right hand and put your right thumb into your left pocket across your body so think about that think about pointer finger pressure and Feel the ball come off your pointer finger. Every single time, come off your pointer finger and come across into your opposite side pocket. So the second question is from Fariza. He says, I am a quarterback for my high school. Can you maybe give me some extra tips for something he can do to get better? One of the places you can separate being a really good quarterback to being a great quarterback, especially in the high school level, is knowing the middle side of the game. Go through all your plays, go through every single play, know it backwards and forwards in your playbook and really know every single read. You know if they're playing cover two, if they're playing cover one, whichever covers they're playing, know exactly where you're going with the ball. Also another thing is knowing your checkdowns. A lot of high school teams will just drop a bunch of guys 
guys, you know, they'll bring three guys and drop eight. And if they do that, knowing that you can check the ball down, get it to your running back, let him do something with it, is, is a quarterback's best friend. Thanks, guys. I uh, hope I answered some of y'all's questions. If you got any more, comment below. You can reach me on my social media, whatever you want to do. Hit me with some questions. I'm here to answer them. That's a nice sweatshirt, bro. Thanks, man. Michael Rector here. Too. <laughs> hey, shout out Stanford. What's up, guys? It's Dalton here. Just checking in again. Going to answer some of your guys' questions. Stephen Curry asked, how do you get stronger and faster as a running back? And similarly, one beast papa asks, do you have any training tips? And he says, PS, you're jacked. So, big guy, huh? Thank you. But uh, <laughs> training tips, what I did a lot when I was younger in terms of training was, you know, I, I started to get the, the weightlifting techniques and everything, made sure I get them down good, you know, do kind of like an upper body day, um, like a push day, which is more like chest and tries, and then a pull day, which will be like focus on your back and your biceps, and then a, a full day of legs. So, um, you know, in my mind, legs and core are probably the most important things that you can train, especially as a younger person. And in terms of speed training, I would do a lot of that at a local facility back home. So, I mean, if you guys have a local speed training facility near your house that you guys can go to, I would definitely recommend that. But if you're just doing it on your own, wind sprints, uh, if you guys can get like bands or sleds, chains, just like resistance sprints, things like that. And then you could also keep an eye on this video and the videos to come and we'll have ladder drills and stuff like that that you guys can also use and, and pick from this video to use yourself, you know, at home or wherever you may be to get bigger, faster and stronger. So I hope that helps. I hope this video helped. If you guys liked it, subscribe. Follow these guys on social media. You can hit them up on social media. They'll answer some of your questions personally if you want. If you hit them up on social media. So give them a follow. Subscribe, like the video, and we'll catch you next time. Next video is going to be more throwing, more throwing stuff, more field work stuff, and some routes. So for you quarterbacks out there, look for that. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. Appreciate the support. As always, Rec, signing out. Straight. Do you know? Be my best friend. 7-11. Yeah. Bingo legend.